Okay, so starting off with my greens, um, the very first thing I'm going to do is take a pot. Um, I have chicken broth in my pot, and then it's going to need more chicken broth, of course. And um, these, these greens, uh, collard greens, of course, these greens are going to have um, smoked turkey in them. So I got me just a regular pack of smoked turkey wings. I think it was like five bucks, something like that. Um, but yeah, just got me smoked turkey wings. You can use a smoked turkey leg if you would like to. I put those in first, and I'm going to add chicken broth. Um, normally, I'm not going to say it's normally, actually. Um, I also do my collard greens by starting off with a um, bacon. In the bottom, I'll just go ahead and kind of fry up some bacon pieces with onion and garlic and put it in there um, and get the flavor from the bacon. This time we're going to do it with smoked, smoked turkey. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this, bring it to a boil, let that meat cook in, season the water, I'm sorry, I'm sorry season the um, chicken broth base. And once it comes to a good rumble, I'll go ahead and add my greens. All right, we got these guys going to a pretty good rumble right now. So I went ahead, cut up and cleaned my collard greens, and we're going to go ahead and just start adding them. And like I said, you want to boil your smoked turkey first and get it to, you know, a good rumble or a good boil to um, pretty much season your broth. So you're, pretty, you're getting the, the smoke flavor in there. Now, this is going to cook so long that the meat is going to fall completely off the bones. And I'm going to have to dig those bones out. I'm going to go fishing. Fishing for bones. I'm trying to let that cook down and make room. Also, I have apple cider vinegar. And growing up, I would, um, just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Growing up, I would add it, you know, to my plate of greens. But now that I am growing and I'm making my own greens, I add about a capful or two to the pot when I'm cooking. And in addition to that, something that you may or may not know about, and nutmeg. I add just a little bit of nutmeg, not for sweetness, but for savoriness. And the nutmeg, you probably would not imagine, mixes so well with the greens and the flavor of the greens. There's no sweetness to it, um, but it gives it that spice, because you know nutmeg is a spice, but it gives it that savory spice. Um, it's just an all-around good flavor in the greens. Okay, a little bit more. Like I said, you got to keep pushing it in, letting it cook down because you know it's going to wilt down. And what I don't want to start off with a full pot and end up with just the bottom of the pot covered, you know. And of course, we're going to cover it and let it continue to cook. I let my greens cook um, for a couple of hours. And I guess that's why a lot of people don't really fool with the collard greens because they keep pretty much a meaty texture. But that's the filling part of it because they have that meaty texture. Hold on. Check it on my noodles. That's another video, but I'm actually making the um, crawfish mac and cheese as well. Make sure those noodles don't burn. So yeah, we'll go ahead and finish adding these. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the top on when they're, you know, once they have it all added. And we're just going to let these guys cook and 
rock out for a couple of hours. I'm going to season it with just a, a little bit of cayenne pepper, um, a little bit of salt and pepper, and as well as onion salt and garlic salt. That's all I'm going to need in here. All right, be back. ahead and check on our greens. They are coming along, but we're still not there yet. I don't feel like my, well, the meat's starting to come off the bone. And this is what I'm going to pretty much do to get it off. This is how we're going to get it off. Just take, I always use this spoon. Um, you can use a fork if you would like. And I just start trying to shred it off. Um, right now, we're not quite ready. Um, so we're going to let it cook down a little bit more. Oh, but we're definitely getting there. And if you could smell what I'm smelling right now. Matter of fact, you will. Because I'm pretty sure somebody's going to try this. And I would love, 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 love for you guys, um, once you try it, to, you know, put a comment down below and let me know how it turned out for you. So anyway, don't want to slow down the process. So I'm going to cover this back up. And just so there is no boil over, see how I left a little bit open? I always do that because I don't want it to boil over and you get a mess on your stove. So anyway, just a little, little tip I use. So anyway, going to go ahead, let that finish up again. Just want to do a quick check in. So the greens are actually done. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and turn them off. I've taken uh, the meat off the bone, and it's always a treat around here when I do my smoked turkey greens um, because my dog gets the bones. So I've taken the meat off the turkey bones, and this is what you have left. Nothing but goodness and baby. I tell you, these greens are everything. I did add a little bit of uh, minced garlic, and like I said, some onion powder to it as well. But um, that's it. Those are the greens. Baby, that's life right there. That is life. All right, so that's the greens. Um, I'll try to get some photos for you. Um, and possibly have it plated up, but you know, as you know, I'm doing a full meal here, so it'll probably be a full meal, and you'll see the other videos that I'm doing too, which is the crawfish mac and cheese, um, and the, the meatloaf as well. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Most of all, share, share, share. Uh, once again, love you lots, bye.